This woman actually had a black leopard. What's going on? Not only did the leopard not show hostility towards the woman, but its usual behavior was as docile as a big cat. What was the magic in the woman that could make a leopard such a fierce big cat so docile? Was there any secret between the woman and the leopard that was not known to the public? Let's take a look at what's going on. Leopards are fast and explosive, with claws and teeth that are as sharp as those of tigers and lions and, of course, including strong bodies. But the leopard's body is softer than theirs, so the leopard's actions are more flexible, and once the prey is targeted, it is difficult to escape. But even fierce big cats like leopards can have tender moments. The leopard in the following story has a relationship with a woman. And they have established a very deep friendship that has lasted until now. The story took place years ago in a Russian zoo where a pregnant female cheetah gave birth to a litter of cubs. But one of the cubs was different from its siblings. Because of a genetic mutation. The black pigmentation on its body had increased dramatically, thus turning it into a little black leopard with a smooth black fur. The mother leopard went crazy after seeing that its child was different from its own. And also because its fur color was different from other siblings. The little black leopard Luna was abandoned by the mother leopard mercilessly. By the time the staff found it, it was already dying. The zoo staff then handed Luna over to Victoria, who had 12 years of experience in caring for fierce animals, to look after. Later, the zoo staff felt that Luna was too weak and needed to be taken care of at all times, if it lived in the zoo, it would be difficult to grow up healthy, so they decided to sell it. When she heard that the zoo was going to sell Luna, Victoria was very worried that others would not be able to take care of the frail leopard, so she decided to adopt Luna at her own expense. Taking care of a newborn baby leopard was not an easy task. The newborn leopard was as fragile as a small mouse and could be injured if she was not careful. So Victoria had to be very careful in all her actions and needed to be highly concentrated. In addition, Victoria also needed to feed the leopard cub every two hours and wiped Luna's bottom with a wet cotton swab every hour and a half to help it excrete. Luna was brought home by Victoria and was simply spoiled by Victoria. Perhaps because she wanted to make up for the regret of Luna's lack of mother's care since childhood, Victoria was obedient to the leopard Luna, which also made the leopard become a little bully up. And as Luna grew up day by day, it became more and more mischievous and lawless, making a mess of the house every day. So Victoria decided to let her own Rottweiler, Bia, teach Luna. Luna soon became very obedient and understanding under the guidance and company of Via. In this way, in Victoria and the dog Via's uncompromising care and love, the leopard Luna grew up so happily and healthily. Now Luna was very close to humans, it had very docile character, like a good and docile big cat, it liked to pampering, hugging Victoria's feet, which was too much to be loved. It had the dumb eyes, who could believe that this was actually a powerful leopard? I didn't know if it was because of the reason of the fighting nation's blood, there was also a man who had a fierce beast in Russia as well as Victoria. But unlike Victoria, the man kept the leopard for the exact same reason that the leopard fought for itself. So what exactly was going on? In a Russian zoo there was a very smitten jaguar, which had a very dominant name, Caesar. But Caesar's personality did not match its name at all. Especially when it came to its keeper, Alexander Volkov, Caesar behaved very well. Alexander Volkov started to take care of Caesar when it was very young, so it could be said that he was Caesar's full-time keeper. And as a child, Caesar was very thin and weak. So Alexander took good care of Caesar from a young age, and Caesar, the young jaguar, trusted him a lot. 
In this way, Alexander and Caesar lived together in harmony and friendship for more than a year, and in this year Caesar also became more and more dependent on Alexander. However, after Alexander worked at the zoo for two years, he had the idea of going to work in other jobs. After much deliberation, he decided to resign from his position as a keeper. Just after he left, although there was new keeper to take care of Caesar. Caesar started to refuse all food and water after it couldn't see Alexander, and its spirit was very depressed, it had a soulful look every day. In fact, Alexander was also very sad to let go of Caesar, but he didn't show it so obviously as Caesar did. At that time, the zoo staff thought it was just a temporary temper tantrum, and that it might get better after a period of time, but it was not expected that things would be far more serious than imagined. For several days, Caesar was determined to carry on to the end and became very weak as a result, and was likely to be in danger if it didn't eat. The zoo was very worried about Caesar's situation, so they contacted Alexander. For the sake of Caesar's health, the zoo director personally pleaded with Alexander to adopt Caesar. After various discussions and assessments, Alexander decided to adopt it and bring it home to take care of it. So Caesar and Volkov lived together. What was amazing to everyone was that Caesar's spirit and appetite began to improve after its reunion with Alexander, and under Alexander's careful care, Caesar was back to its spirit. Alexander said that Caesar was his precious cat in front of him. However, Alexander also encountered happy troubles. It was when he took Caesar to outdoor activities, such a cat walk took too much attention, many people would see them and pulled out their cell phones to take pictures. I hope Alexander can continue to live happily with Caesar and be less disturbed by unrelated people. But there is one thing to say, the fighting people is actually the fighting people, they not only make the local big brown bear submissive, they even take leopards as big cats, it is too tough. With the current development of human beings, humans' activities continue to erode the living space of wild animals, and the release of animals has become increasingly difficult. Animals are also flesh and blood, they also know the pain and hard feelings, animals' life is also worthy of reverence. We should start from ourselves to protect the ecological environment around us, so that we can also protect the wild animals. Protecting animals is in fact protecting ourselves. Of course, it is not the case that we should send all animals to zoos or sanctuaries to protect them. That kind of protection is also useful, but also has some disadvantages, such as the animals will lose their original wild nature, and thus lose their ability to survive in the wild. We should try to find a new way to protect the animals.